I pray today that you have the power given to you by God to keep on keeping on. Most people quit before they have their greatest successes. I've seen it over and over again. I pray you, relying on God, have the momentum to keep on keeping on. Most of us have had something like this happen. We're working on a project. Everything is going well. And then something unexpected happens and things come to a screeching halt. I've had it happen. I've allowed it to halt. And you just cannot allow this to happen for a prolonged period of time. You have to regain your momentum from God. And many times it has to come from God because we get discouraged in human mind and we don't have what it takes in us to regain our momentum. But we regain our momentum when we take our eyes off and our attention off of the problem and place it on God. When something in our life seems to be going wrong, it is not necessarily a signal for us to give up. It may be a signal for us to move in a new direction. And truthfully, we don't like to do that. I don't like to do that. When I have my mind set on a particular way, that's when prayer comes in for a renewal of mind, for an attitude adjustment, a direction adjustment. It says in Philippians 3, verse 14, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ. To press on is, I pray, a God-given effort. We know that we can trust God. So we rely on divine guidance for the inspiration and the direction we need. Whether we're working on a special project or, or trying to make a relationship work, we can keep the momentum going by letting God show us the next step and the direction to take. We may make adjustments, but relying on God, we keep on making progress.